Hello and welcome back to the channel. Richard here and it is time for another quick Lightroom tutorial. Tutorial? Tutorial. Tutorial. We're going to go with tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about there's a function in Lightroom called lights out. It means at the press of a button you can take away all the distractions around the edge of your screen and that's where my screen is. All the distractions around the edge of your screen and it means that the picture that you've spent hours taking and hours editing and you're ready to upload to Instagram it means you can press one button and that picture will pop out of you and you can just have a look at it sit back and go yeah that was good I like this let's let's get on Instagram let's get those thousands of likes so press the button really easy to do I'll show you a few settings that you can adjust to make it more to your liking and it's just a quick way, like I say, of removing the distractions around the screen and having that photo in the middle so you can see all your hard work. So let's jump into Lightroom now and we will take a quick look. So here we are in Lightroom. Here are some photos that we took on a holiday last year. It doesn't matter what photos we're using for this quick example. Uh, so basically you can still see that we're still in the develop module here and you've still got all your editing um, bits and pieces around the outside and your film strip at the bottom. If you want to see that photo nice and big you can press F to get full screen obviously but if you want to keep it just a very quick scroll through you can and, and just to get rid of the, all the mess around the outside just hit L and what you'll see is at least dim the outside but only slightly but we can change that in the settings which I'm going to come to in a second. You press L again and it removes it completely and it gives you a nice frame around the photo so that you can see exactly exactly what your photo is going to look like. So you hit L again and you're back to your main screen. So that is it really. I mean, it's really easy. It's just it's just a nice couple of buttons to just so you can sit back and think, yeah, that's done and there's no distractions around the outside. Very, very quickly, I will show you some settings that you can change. So um, whatever light your room you're in, you head up to the top left hand corner, click on the Lightroom uh, menu option here and go into preferences. You need to make sure that you are on the interface tab and you've got a tiny little section here that indicates the lights out features. So basically you have different options here. You can change the colors. So I'm on black as you saw, which is the default, which is the one I really like. But you've also got dim levels. Now I'm on the lowest dim level at the moment, which was 50%, which I wanted to show you so you can see how transparent that is. So I'm gonna hit L once. And you can see it's just dimmed it slightly, so you, there's still quite a, a lot of um, distractions around the outside there on that first, on that first button. So we're going to go back into preferences. If we now change it to 90, uh, yeah, let's change it to 90, and we'll keep it as black for now. Close that down again. You hit L again, and you can see you can just about still see. Um, what's going on around the outside and you can still click on things so um, it's hard to see here but you can still click and and change photos if you want to um, but that's that's I don't know why but you can but basically I just use this so when I finished editing I can just take away all those distractions and look at the photo in isolation without any of the mess going on around the outside so that's that's my default so I think 80 is a good one as well because you can still see a little bit around the outside slightly more as you can see here so if you did want to do a little edit while it's still in the lights out function um, then you could because you can still see the sliders and everything but I go with 90% because I just like seeing the picture on its own as it should be in all its glory like that and it just gives it a nice frame around the outside so that it really does make the photo pop and stand out so that is it really really quick one today but it's just another but quick button feature that if you didn't know about it might come useful just to hit that L, let your photo pop before you want to export it and upload it to whatever um, photo sharing site you use so done dusted quick i hope you found that useful if you did there's going to be loads more of these little tutorials coming so please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below if there's any questions and otherwise i will see you in the next video have a great day